We are so back. That's right, you read the title correctly. I have a brand new Apollo scraper ready for 2025, and I'm gonna show you how you can use it in this video. It's completely free. I'll have a link to the extension down in the description below. If you didn't know now, Apollo changed the way their UI works, and my old scraper broke. And I got a lot of angry emails from you guys saying, Mike, why the fuck doesn't this work? And you know, I'd be pissed too, okay? So that's why we're bringing you the updated 2025 version right now. Make sure to drop a like on this video and if you want to get the full code make sure to check out the Gumroad in the link in the description below. Anyway, let's just get into it. If you're not familiar, Apollo is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to get a ton of great leads for free for your business. And this plugin is gonna allow you to extract basically an unlimited amount of them for free. Looking over at Apollo's website, they have an unlimited free credits email tier right here, which actually is about 10,000 credits per month. Quick disclaimer, make sure you're not blowing through these 10,000 credits a month. Try to keep it to like a thousand a day or else Apollo's just gonna ban your account. And then also make sure when you're signing up for an account, make sure to use your work email address and that's how you'll get the 10,000 free emails. So to install this, I'm gonna have a link down in the description below where you can install the Apollo Easy Scrape 2025 edition. I'll put a thumbnail in here once this video goes live, but you can go ahead and get it over on my Gumroad. So once you're inside here, you'll be able to download this folder right here, the Apollo Easy Scrape 2025. I'll just go ahead and download it. This will go right into your downloads folder up here. And then you're just gonna wanna extract the folder that you just downloaded. Put this somewhere where you're not going to delete it because we're gonna need to reference this file in order to access the extension. I'll just throw this on my desktop. Next, we wanna go over to our browser of choice. I'm gonna use Google Chrome for this instance, but feel free to use Brave or any other browser that supports Chrome plugins. And then we're gonna wanna come on over to this little puzzle piece at the top here and then click on manage extensions. And then from here, we can click on load unpacked, go into our folder that we just extracted and then go into that folder again to get into the root file one more time and then click on select folder. It should be empty like this if you're on Windows. And that means we're inside the right folder. And now we've got our Apollo Easy Scrape ready to go. It's the same thing as before, except this time it actually works again. So we can come up here to our little puzzle piece again and we'll see it, Apollo Easy Scrape right there. And I'll just pin this to my plugins right there. Look at that, ready to go. So now let's head on over to Apollo and give this bad boy a try. So I head on over to Apollo and I'll just make a new quick list real quick. And what's awesome about Apollo is they have a ton of selectors here to get a ton of great leads. So I'll just come into here and I'll pick a new industry, like I don't know, like banking. We'll come into job titles and I'll look for CEOs of banking companies here. So you can see it pulled up over 13,000 records of these people. And if we look inside of the table here, you'll notice we actually have the email and the phone number right here. And this is the data that we're gonna wanna extract so we can use it for lead lists, lead generation, things like that, and all of that good stuff. So from here, what we can do is we'll just select the table from Apollo and I'll click on 25. And with the free plan, you only are allowed to select up to 25 contacts at a time, um, which is fine. We can get around that very simply by just adding this to a list. So I'll make a list called CEO Banks. I'll make this new list and I'll save it. And we got 25 prospects. And now if I go to the next page, I can then select all these people. And then if it doesn't show up when you reselect it, just refresh the page. There we go, we'll be able to add it to our list again. And there we go. So now we just added 25 more people to our list. And we'll keep doing this until ideally we run out of people to scrape. But like I said, you don't really wanna scrape more than a thousand people a day or else Apollo will catch on and ban your account. And then also if you are on the free plan and you try to go past five here, it won't actually let you. It'll say you're on the free data plan which allows viewing only up to five pages. We can also get around this by just going to net new. So this will only show us new contacts that haven't been added to a list yet. So I can just keep going on net new and refresh and just add all these contacts until we've reached all 13,000 contacts. So I'll add a couple more pages in here and there we go. So we've got a hundred contacts in this list. I'll go over to my lists here and then I will look at these people. So now after adding all these people to my list, you'll notice we have the enriched email right here, ready to go in sort of a table view right here, which is awesome, it's exactly what we need. If you don't see this email in your table, go over to search settings here, and then make sure in fields that the email box is checked. There's a ton of fields here you can also add that it will also scrape, but just make sure you have email. You can also add a bunch of other basic information about the company as well. And then from here, all we gotta do is just turn on the plugin. So at the top here, we click on the plugin and it will auto detect how many people are in the list. Right now we have 75 people saved. 
and that is pulled off of this integer right here. And then we can set the time in between our pages and then just click on scrape list. And this will go through and then it will basically scrape the table, put it into our table and then wait every five seconds, go to the next page and do this until there's no more pages. So this is, oh, it looks like there's a hundred people in this list. Okay, so we should be good now. So when we reach page 100, the last page here, we should have everyone in this list right here. Perfect. So now I can just go up here. I can name this to bank CEO and then I can download CSV and I have my CSV file right there. Now, because I don't own Excel, we're going to use Google Sheets for this and just slap this in here and give it an old look. Oh yeah, here we go. So now I've got name, job title, company, emails, phone numbers, if they exist, uh, and any other of the additional table items that we've got from our table. I do wanna make a disclaimer, it doesn't always pull phone numbers. You only get a certain amount of phone numbers a month. So after a while, these will stop showing and it will just say like, can't find phone number or whatever. But it does include the emails, which is hype here. So we can use emails for whatever kind of mailing list we want. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it, so. And also I do wanna mention, we did get the full 100 contacts from that list right here. Awesome, sweet. So we know it grabbed all 100 and the extension worked. Let's go ahead and build out one more list with some more people so we can really see how we can make the most of this extension. And for this, I'm gonna kind of create a mock real life list on Apollo for actually one of my new projects coming out that involves an AI voice. So for this product, I really wanna be targeting people that are in marketing or agencies that could use voice automation inside their business. So for that, let's go into some of the filters here and let's look for inside industry and keywords. I'm gonna type in marketing and we'll use the marketing and advertising keyword here. And you can see we get around 4.05 million people, which is a lot of people, but let's try to narrow this down. Um, what's nice about Apollo is there's so many different filters here we can use to narrow down our, so I'm probably also gonna wanna go for a employee size filter, and I wanna select people that are within one to 10 people, just because I know this product is geared towards people who don't really have that much staff and want to automate parts of their business. And let's also enter in a job title. I'm gonna go for owners on this one because we wanna get in contact with the owner so we can help them out. So from here, we get about 55,000 people, which is good, but we wanna get this even more narrow. So let's go for location and we'll also target this by location. And I'm gonna do Florida for this example here. So I'll put it in Florida and there we go. So we got 2,500 people here, which is perfect. I think we can even take this one step further and go to email status and we'll click on likely to engage and verified. And now we're only gonna get people who are super likely to engage with our email. Um, these are people who are receptive to cold email, which is perfect for our needs. And we get about a thousand people, which is the exact type of list that we're looking for. So from here, all I gotta do is just click on them and click on apply, and then we'll add these to a new list. I'll make a new list called Marketing Agency Florida, and I'll save these to that. And then while we're at it, I'll just refresh my page too. And now from here, we can go and we can just start adding people to this list. So I'm gonna go through here and crank out a couple more people. And I'll come back when I have about two to 300 people. Once again, if we can't go past the five pages, what I like to do is just set this back to one page, go to net new, and then you'll notice it's only gonna give us new leads from here. So we can just go ahead and continue adding people to our list as before. There we go, look at that. Bang, now we've got even more people to our list. I've gotten some questions before if we can automate this part of the process, but you can automate it. It is kind of hard because Apollo's UI is super glitchy and they obviously don't want people doing this. So they're always constantly changing it. There's so many buttons we have to click and there's so many contingencies with waiting that honestly, it's just worth it to spend a couple extra minutes to make these lists yourself. And then you can just scrape the leads for free. And look at that. We can just keep cruising along and add all these people. Let's go. All right, sweet. So if we go into lists here, we have Florida marketing agency with just about almost 300 people in this list here. And you'll notice we've got their job title, company, emails, phone numbers, um, and their LinkedIn and location. Perfect, this is exactly what we need. So then from here, we'll just go up to the extension and then click on scrape. And this will go through every five seconds, turn the page and just pull all the data and put it in a table for us. So I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so I think that just finished up on the list here and that should be everyone. Awesome. So now from here, we can enter in marketing. We'll just click on download CSV and there we go. We got our CSV. I'll open this up 
And also I do want to mention there is a limit on the amount of pages that can scrape here. I've noticed that Apollo only lets you see up to 2,500 people for each list. So try not to make lists that go over 2,500, especially if you want to scrape that many people in a day. I would, once again, I try to stick to around a thousand a day on the maximum per account. There we go. Another CSV file. And if we go all the way to the bottom, you'll notice we've got 293 rows of people. That's 292 plus the initial header of everyone here. Awesome. Look at that. All their emails right here, their name, where they're from, LinkedIn, all the good stuff. Yeah, it's all right here. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And I can use it to put into any kind of email sender. And I can start reaching out to business owners, start helping them automate their business. As mentioned before, I'll have a link where you can install this Chrome extension and follow along and extract as many leads as you want from Apollo. Once again, make sure you're not going over any kind of crazy limits. Be reasonable with this and you won't get banned. Otherwise, you'll have to keep making Apollo accounts and then they're just gonna ban your IP and then you're gonna have no access to Apollo at all. You're gonna have to go to like a Starbucks or something and then get the Starbucks banned from Apollo. I may or may not have done that. But if you like this video, make sure to drop a fat like and leave a comment. Let me know if it works for you and also let me know what other kinds of automations and extensions you want to see. I'm going to try to get back into the YouTube game a little bit. I've been super busy. I got a lot of really big projects on the way that I'm super excited to show you guys, but they're coming real, real soon. That's going to be all from me in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I know these Apollo guys just hate me.